Hello everyone, I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. Have you ever considered a better experience while reading your email in Microsoft Outlook? Microsoft Outlook introduced a new feature which is Immersive Reader that help every reader to customize their email in a way that makes the reader very comfortable to read. The reader of Outlook Web and the desktop allow you to adjust email text in a best for you. Immersive reading allow you to read the text and highlight each word with modified spacing, color and a lot more to the easy and comfortable reading for your email experience. So let's dive in and understand how it works. So first of all you have to select an email which you want to experience, select an email which you want to use or read using immersive reader. So I opened the email and this email opened in a separate window. So in the message tab, go to the immersive section. You will, you will get first option which is read aloud. I have already created a detailed video on read aloud and you can check out the link on the top right corner of your screen. The, the second option is immersive reader. When I click on this, you will see a separate tab appears with immersive reader which consists of few options. Every option help user to add some special effects which will help you to read your email differently. So let's check out the first option column width. If you can see your entire email is arranged by Outlook very beautifully. You can click column width and there are four options very narrow, narrow, moderate and wide. The wide option is already by default selected. That means your email is arranged on the entire screen of your window. If you change it to moderate, you can see the spacing on the left side and the right side appears. That looks also good for you. You can easily read the email by selecting this also. You can change it to narrow. That will change the width of your email to narrow and there is another option which is very narrow. It looks like you are reading an email on your mobile which is not uh, very comfortable if you are reading your email on your desktop or your laptop. Now we'll change it again to the wide. Now the next option is page color. By default white color is already selected as a background or in your outlook. You can change any color according to your requirement or according to your eyes. If you feel the background must be in different color and the text must be in different color, you can change it according to your requirement. I like this black color. It is, it is very easy for me to read the email. And you can also use more colors here and select the color which is not by default available in the list. You can also customize the color according to your requirement. Simply hit OK and that, that, that color will change on your background. Now the next option is line focus. When I click on it by default none is selected. That means there is no changes available in Outlook. When you click on one line you can see only one line is selected and the rest of the lines are hidden in, a, in the black shadow. That means you can concentrate while reading your email very easily and you can only read the specific line you want to read. I will again change it to none. The next option is text spacing. See when I enable it every word changes their pattern and add a specific space in every alphabet. I say it is a novel pattern. If you have a regular user of reading novels you can see this pattern is normally occurs in the novels. So I change it back to the normal. Now the next option is symbols. In this option Outlook make your reader a bit comfortable because sometimes your email consists of those words which are long which are unable to read. So you can that Outlook break that word for you that will be easy for the reader to understand and read very easily. So you can see we sincere so this word is a single word, sincerely, but Outlook break it to sincerely. 
thank you for choose, choosing. So choosing. That way you can very easily separate a single word into two and you can read it very easily. Now the next option is read, read aloud. I have already told you I have made a separate video on this which is very interesting. You can simply click on it and Outlook read your email for you. So I will show you once again. I will click read aloud. You can also click this options button. You can change the reading speed. You can change the voice selection. You can switch to male or female according to your convenience. That way immersive, immersive reader help user if you are reading your email in Microsoft Outlook application. Now the next I will show you how it works in Outlook web. The Outlook web feature is slightly different from Outlook application which is great. I mean great. So let's open the Outlook web. Now I am on my Outlook web page. So I again go to my inbox, select the email I want to read. I select this, double click on it. The mail will open in a separate window similar to Outlook application. I will maximize it for the clear visibility. Now you can see there is an option immersive reader here. Sometime most of the users unable to find it because of the layout. Sometime the layout is selected simplified ribbon. So you are unable to find that option. Simply go to the top right corner of the screen, the downward arrow, click here, click on classic ribbon. Now you can easily check out immersive reader. Simply click on this immersive reader that will automatically forwarded your email to the HTML format. The mail is automatically opened in a separate window. Now here there are few options. First, first option is text preferences. When you click here, you can change the text size according to your requirement or according to your comfort. You can turn off the spacing or you can turn on the spacing similar to Outlook application. You can change the font and you can also change the theme which is background color. If I select this, my background color is changed. If I select black, my background color changed to black. Select more colors, you will get couple of colors here. Next option is show source formatting. You can select this, it will change to bold if you turn this off and it will come back to the normal when you turn this off. Now the second option is grammar options which is very interesting and the best option I have ever seen in Microsoft Outlook web. First of all there is an option syllables. When you turn this on Outlook itself change the word and you can easily read the word. The next option is part of speech. All the options nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs are turned off and there is a color selection also. If you select this, that means if you turn this noun option, turn this toggle of the noun, which is a noun, will automatically convert the color to the purple color. You can change the color also according to your requirement. If you turn this verbs, you can turn this verbs. The, if, if there are any verb available in this sentence, it will change it to red. You can change, you can turn to the adjective and you can turn the adverbs also. Now see, you will see few options here. Please, please it is an adverb. Note, note is a verb. Then you can see, go, will, have, this is a verb and so on. This is a very interesting option. Microsoft web users can take 100% advantage and the third option is line focus off. That means when I turn this on, similarly only the line which I am reading will be focused by Outlook web. That means the other lines which I am not interested in are automatically covered under, under this shadow. Apart for, from this, there is another option which is voice setting. When you click on it, you can change the voice. 
you can change to female or you can change to male you can change the speed so i will make this to the normal and simply hit play button authorization via cdsl tpin for cell orders dear client please note that authorization process via tpin that way outlook web immersive reader option help you to read the email very smartly and give you a better experience once you have completed reading you can simply hit your exit button and you will be forwarded to back to the normal screen i hope you found this video useful also if you like this video please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with thank you and have a nice day